I'd like to show you some of the applications and benefits of using art masking fluid. In this video I'm going to talk through two kinds of art masking fluid, those being the standard art masking fluid and also the colourless art masking fluid. In a separate video I'll show you how to use the permanent masking medium. So back to the original two, art masking fluid is in fact a liquid form of a kind of masking tape if you like. The standard art masking fluid as you can see is slightly yellow in colour. This is because it has a small amount of yellow pigment within it. Whereas the colourless art masking fluid as the name suggests is in fact completely colourless because that yellow pigment has not been added. The best way to show you these is to actually show it in use. So I'd like you to have a look at it down here. To show you how to use these, I'm just going to do a rough sketch on this piece of paper here. Um, and what I'm going to use is both the colourless and the standard art masking fluid to mask out areas of the paper. Once this is dry, we'll rub it off and we'll be able to see the paper showing through the wash that I apply over the top. Both forms of the masking fluid can be applied with either the brush, a stick or the end of the brush. If you're using a brush like I'm going to, a good tip is to actually apply a little bit of soap to the hairs beforehand and this will protect the brush from the art masking fluid because once it's dry it can actually damage the end of a brush. So first of all the standard art masking fluid, I've given this a shake but basically take the lid off and then I can apply areas here where I want this to be masked out like so. As you can see the yellow pigment is showing here. It's also really important to point out that the paper should not be wet, the paper should be completely dry the paper is wet or if any moisture or any water is in contact with the art masking fluid it will actually dilute it and enable it to sink into the page and make it incredibly difficult to remove. Always remember not to get any of the masking fluid around the threads of the bottle there because if you do and then replace the lid it can actually go solid and make it really difficult to remove. And then as a contrast I shall just apply some of the colourless art masking fluid to different areas and as you can see indeed this is colourless so I now need to replace the lids as soon as possible because as soon as air comes into contact with it, it's starting to solidify. So always keep the lid on your bottle at all times. I'll go and wash my brushes out straight away and we'll allow this to dry. Okay, so my masking fluid is now completely dry and ready to be uh, overpainted. It's worth saying that you really need to keep it to a bare minimum the amount of time that you leave the masking fluid on the paper for. Prolonged periods can make it difficult to remove. I'm talking about days rather than hours here, so I'll just now apply a wash over the top of the dry masking fluid. Okay, so plenty of water on my brush. You can see here is the coloured, the, the standard art masking fluid, and the colourless is here a little bit more difficult to pick out against the white paper. Just going to apply a wash of cobalt blue over the top of that. You can see that it does actually provide a little bit of a resist as well. Put some Windsor blue red shade in here. Also just to provide a bit of variation of colour. I just wash that all the way down. Like so.
Okay, and as with the masking fluid, I need to allow that wash of blue to go completely dry before I can attempt to remove the masking fluid that is underneath it. Okay, so now my wash on top of the art masking fluid is completely dry, so I can remove the art masking fluid and allow the paper to show through from underneath. To do this, I can either use uh, a rubber or I can also use my finger. It's personal preference, basically. So as I start to rub this off here, you can see that it neatly removes. Again, further on, cover this area here. Some of the standard art masking fluid there. And as, as I said, you can do it just with your finger as well. So just work your way across any area where you've applied it. Okay, so that shows the masking fluids used as just part of a simple sketch. They can obviously be used in a wide variety of painting styles and techniques. I really hope that you enjoy using them and getting the most out of its unique properties.